For the first time, a school safety officer will be in each school in the Escambia County School District. News 5's Brian Clarkley talked to the district superintendent about the decision to arm the SSOs and the kind of training they're going through this summer. The superintendent says that last year they were short officers, so they didn't have enough to put one in every school all day long. But this year they're training new safety officers. We had to juggle some of their schedules, and so not every school had bell to bell coverage. Our goal this year is bell to bell coverage, an officer on every campus every day. Superintendent Malcolm Thomas says the district has hired several retired law enforcement and military people to act as safety officers at the schools. These officers have been trained and will carry a weapon. He says some of the other schools will still use off-duty law enforcement, but the safety officers will fill the gap. I don't see it being a problem. As long as they're trained and, uh, you know, mentally stable, good to go. Thomas says the safety officers also have to go through psychological interviews, polygraph tests, and background checks. But the truth is there are more shootings in businesses, in churches, than there are in schools. But in the event we have one, we want to be prepared for our families and our students. The money to train these safety officers came from a grant. In Pensacola, I'm Bryant Clerkley, WKRG News 5. The National Association of School Resource Officers estimates there are 14 and 20,000 officers in about 30 percent of the schools nationwide. The trend of the school resource officer can be traced back to April of 1999 and the Columbine shooting.